We just got in a bunch of brand new Macs, so let the real world Mac videos begin. And today, we are gonna start out by taking apart the new 15 inch MacBook Air and seeing what Apple hid inside and what they have changed. Guys, you don't know how excited I am. I've waited for years for a 15 inch MacBook Air, and I think it is gonna be the best selling Mac laptop for the rest of this year. Now, we're gonna do a ton of real world test so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you guys want to see how these Macs compare and how to make the best choice for you now first impressions I have not touched this yet this seems very similar to the M2 version um, actually I thought it feel larger in the hand it barely seems larger than the 13 let's open it up all right now that screen that sound Dang, you definitely notice the screen difference though. Now while this loads up, oh, this thing is so Dude. lightweight. 3.3 pounds and it feels so rigid. Now I read an article about how Apple chose to go with the size and why it's slightly thicker. They wanted to make sure it's rigid, no flex, super high quality, and it is here. Now it hurts me to not be able to test out the new speakers or thermal throttling just yet because we're gonna take it apart first, but make sure you have notifications enabled for that video because it's coming out tomorrow. Let's jump right in and start unscrewing this cover. And it's really interesting how we literally just have four screws Whereas like the previous 15 inch MacBook Pro had a ton of them. Before we lift that cover, let's get our comparison 13 inch opened up here. Here is that 13 inch. As you guys see, we have a few marks on it because we did do the teardown for this one. And you guys see it is beautiful and clean here. We're gonna have to take a lot apart. You don't just see all the parts here. And now, moment of truth, let's pop up this new 15 inch. Oh, those clips are strong. Maybe because this thing's brand new, <laughs> that is holding so well. Oh, that unlocked there. All right, guys, moment of truth. There we go. Bam, Ooh. look at that. Wow, okay. But even I just took a look and we counted seven very obvious differences, plus a few minor ones, even just at the bottom of these. Now, the first and most obvious one are the speakers. Here on the 13 inch, you guys see, we have these kind of magnets on the back and it's just this upper part, but look at the 15 inch. We have these brand new modules that are massive. They take up so much room here and I can't wait to hear the difference. The next one is these brand new clips right here. No wonder it was so hard to take the cover off. On a 13 inch, you just have these little pieces of metal with these little cutouts, don't move. Here, these actually move around, which makes it easier to find the right spot, but then it actually has tension to hold in better. And then we have the batteries. Obviously, the battery is larger, but if you guys look, this actually has a split battery design compared to a solid one. It's interesting that they chose to do that. And with that, on the 13 inch, the battery actually goes all the way to the edge here, where the 15 inch, it does not. And instead of having a bigger gap, they actually added these pieces of metal, probably to make sure there's not too much space. And so the whole MacBook is more rigid. Now with that, the whole design is more sturdy. If you guys take a look, there's all these sections that have more metal added to add to the high quality rigid design, um, instead of just having more cut out. The next one is the hinge design. You guys could see we actually have two screws here plus the bottom cover that goes through instead of just having one on the 13 inch. And I read an article about an Apple exec talking about how much time they spent on this thing to make sure the quality and the build is incredible. They did not have to do this. They could have made it lighter weight, but they didn't. And with that, we also have a change to the ribbon cable. It's very thin, but it is a lot smaller overall compared to the 13 inch. Now, what is wild is that the actual motherboard is actually shorter on the 15 inch than on the 13. We have 11 and a quarter inches there, and here we have an 11 inch total overall. Apple could have easily just reused the same one, but they wanted to make the speakers bigger and better, so they changed the design, which costs money, instead of reusing it. Now there are a few other minor differences in materials and covers, but the next thing 
is to start unscrewing this motherboard. Now I already removed a bunch of screws to save you guys time, but it's interesting that Apple has made some changes to make this easier to service. But one of them that they didn't do is the speakers because you now have to remove them in order to get this motherboard out. You even have to get the hinges off in order to get the speakers out, in order to get this top cover off. All right, the speaker is coming out here. We do have a cable underneath here. Here we go. And look at that. We have the woofer right there. That looks to be a tweeter. And where is the third speaker? This just looks like enclosures. Do you think it's it, Vadim? Yeah, I mean, it's gotta be. Look at that tiny little thing. That must be a tweeter. Wow. Okay, I don't wanna damage it, but it does slightly move. This is crazy. Look at that difference in different thickness. And I don't know if that's a little port or something, yeah, but we have those cutouts. This is how you know that Apple cares about speaker quality. And this thing is the antenna. Look at that. These enclosures here with the two cables for all the connections, you're gonna have a good signal. And now we can remove some cables here and pull this out. Now this here is a little top metal cover to protect the motherboard, uh, maybe for any kind of uh, radio frequency or interference. So it doesn't do much. All right guys, we've been working at it and Apple definitely made this harder than the 13 inch. And the crazy thing is, if your 15 inch breaks, they won't want to repair it. They'll literally rather give you a new one instead of taking it apart. And I see why. You literally cannot unplug any of these ports right here without peeling back the whole heat sink. And then here we actually have a little daughter board for some of the chips and some of the connections, which we didn't have before. Yeah, guys, this is scary stuff. It is a major amount of work to try to take this cover off very carefully. Finally, we can access those cables and look at this guys. To me, this seems a lot thicker than the previous one. This tape looks different. We have these bumps here. They definitely changed this up. And here we go guys, finally, the M2 motherboard is unleashed. Now I don't think Apple's ever gonna be doing this, what we just did, but look at that. Now you guys, might notice right up top here. Oh no. We have a single NAND chip with a completely empty spot for the second one, meaning the base model is gonna have half the speed. It's gonna be actually slower than a base model iPad Air, both for read and write, which is insane. That's a 64 gig. And the reason they're doing this is because a single 256 gig NAND chip is actually cheaper than a single 128 gigabyte, which is absolutely crazy. So if they did the old method, they would pay more than double, and they don't wanna do that. And the M2 chip actually allows them to use a single one, whereas the M1 required two, so those are still fast. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is the M2 chip with the RAM right on the side. Uh, this one has eight gigs, it's a base model, and it's crazy how the RAM is literally part of the CPU, showing why unified memory works really, really well. And there is your whole computer. Now, I'm going to replace that thermal paste with something that's pretty much what Apple uses. We tested the 13 inch before, the um, thermals, everything was identical to a brand new model. Um, and then we'll get to testing. Of course, we have some other Macs as well. So go ahead and click that circle above to subscribe and check out one of those great videos right over there. And we will see you in the next one.